Hello, welcome back to the channel. My name is Michael and today we are filming a very special milestone video. I have just acquired my 100th licensed Harry Potter wand. Uh, I'm really excited and I'm going to be showing you all of them today. All 100 of the wands that are in my collection. So I'm a Ravenclaw and so I want to qualify this pretty much right away. I do actually own more than 100 wands. Um, I The way that I do my system, and I'm going to be linking a link to my Google Doc that I use to keep track of the collection uh, in the description of this video. So you can use this as your own reference and kind of see how I'm organizing things. But I don't count in my collection things that have been made for me by really talented wand makers or that I've bought. Um, I also don't count things like the uh, like promotional wands, like very special wands, that, like this one that I've shown in a previous video from the Sorcerer's Stone premiere. These are gonna be the licensed sold wands. These are gonna be sold by Noble Collection, by the Universal Studios, Wizarding World of Harry Potter wands, and then also the Cursed Child wands. Those are my, my, my list of all the ones that I'm trying to collect. And so when I say 100, I mean from those. So I actually have more than that, but anyway. These are the ones we're going to be talking about today. So I'm going to be going through each one of the hundred and then if I was gifted it, I'm going to try to remember uh, to mention that I was gifted it by somebody and if I have any special kind of little stories or anything with each wand because they each have little little stories and I'm like surrounded by them right now. I'm really excited to show you all of them but they're all around me and I've, I've never had this many wands in one place before. So uh, So let's dive right in. All right, so um, so the Noble Collection is really where uh, like the, the biggest source of wands um, that are out there. And so the Noble Collection started selling Harry Potter replica wands right around the time of Prisoner of Azkaban being released. Um, so that's why you don't see wands like um, Gilderoy Lockhart's being sold because they didn't get the, the, like the licensing rights to start making the wands until um, Prisoner of Azkaban. So the very first wand I ever got, um, and so some of you might recognize this, so you see the box here. Um, so these all came in the Ollivander's wand box. So just like in the early films, um, they came with ribbons and everything. And so that is going to be Harry Potter's wand. And so this, this um, Harry's was the first wand I ever got. This is actually not my first Harry Potter wand. And so my first kind of wand story is the first Harry wand I ever got. Um, so I had it for a while and you know, I collect ones because I just, I enjoy having them. I enjoy like waving them and playing with them around. Um, so my first Harry Potter one, so this is actually made of wood. Um, you see this shaft here, it is actually like, this is wood. Um, the early Noble Collection ones actually were, were made of wood and so they're not really made like that anymore. Uh, so the first wand I ever had, I sat on it. <laughs> I had it sitting on the couch at my grandparents' house and I sat on it and I snapped the wood uh, right there and I was devastated. And my grandfather was really like, I was so moody all day and my grandfather was really not having it and was kind of like telling me to buck up. Um, so he thought I was being really dramatic, but he just didn't understand, you know, like Harry Potter wand. I was really sad about it. Um, so this isn't actually my first one. I actually buried my first wand. So like I had a whole funeral and everything for it. So I guess my grandfather was kind of right. I was kind of dramatic. But uh, so this is my second Harry Potter wand that uh, is in the Ollivander box. And so um, it's still very special to me, especially since it's made of wood, since they don't make them like that so much anymore. So that's gonna be my first one. The second wand I ever got is also one of my favorites, which is going to be Lord Voldemort's wand. And so I got this one for Christmas the year after I got Harry's. My parents gave Harry's to me and then they gave me Voldemort's. So one of my favorites, I love cosplaying Tom Riddle because I get to hold his wand with his like long fingers uh, with the with the hook around the end. Um, such a cool design. I love when they introduce this in Goblet of Fire and uh, very cool. I think the next one I got was the Christmas after that or something. Um, it, start, it kind of starts blurring together, but that is going to be Albus Dumbledore's wand or the Elder Wand. And so um, the purple box that it comes in is very Dumbledore. And uh, of course, you might already know this, but um, the designers of this wand used only triangles, circles, and lines in this decoration. Um, and they did not know about the Deathly Hallows symbol when they were 
making this prop. Um, uh, JK Rowling hadn't told anybody about that yet, or, or even if she knew what the design was gonna be at that point, but it was pretty cool coincidence that that is what they use. It's just lines, circles, and triangles, just like the sign of the Deathly Hallows. Um, but this one is really great. It's also, I love having like multiple places to highlight have Voldemort. <laughs> Voldemort holds one so cool, like how he holds it kind of up here um, or further down. So great wand, really glad to have this in the collection too from one of the earliest beginnings. Next, and I think we're keeping with the trend of Christmas presents, is going to be McGonagall's wand. And so this is Minerva McGonagall, one of my favorite characters in the entire series. She's got a really great wand. Um, this little knobby bean thing on the end has broken off many times. I've had to hot glue or super glued it back on many times because, uh, so I'm, I'm very careful about holding it now where I keep my fingers up here because it's a little, a little awkward to hold. But uh, hers is another really great one. Um, love the shape of it, love the design. And so hers was from Chamber of Secrets, um, but since it continued on, since she continued to hold it after Chamber of Secrets, that's where the whole like Prisoner of Azkaban licensing thing happened. Pretty much any character like Madame Hooch, um, Lockhart, um, Flitwick's first wand, things like that, you really don't see those sold by Noble Collection because since they were included in the first two movies, they weren't really um, carried over those licensing rights. And I think we're going out of order now because what I'm starting with with this video, I'm doing all the Noble Collection, the um, the Noble Collection ones first, and those are going to start with the Ollivander's wand boxes. And so this is Slughorns. Slughorns was in a Ollivander box, and so the slime trail there, and then his little sluggy eyes up top. Very cool design, great to hold, and then in his green and velvet box, just like his pajamas, probably. Other than Harry's, all of the Ollivander's boxes um, have the same sticker on the end. It's the same design, so Harry's got a unique design, so that's where you know you're looking at his if it's on your shelf. All the other ones kind of blend in, but they do have different colors. And then once you get to the inside, you can tell the color too. And so next we're going to have Severus Snape's wand. Kind of a shorty, but it's got a really intricate handle. It's nothing that's a particular picture, it's just kind of, it might be based off something, I'm not aware. Um, and it's a little ovangular, or vongular, how do you pronounce that? Where it's not really a circle, it's um, kind of two flatter sides with a wider thing. So kind of short, short little handle, um, but the one that killed Dumbledore, ooh, but, uh, but that's a great one too. Now we have the brightest, craziest box of all, this like fluorescent yellow box, and who else would it be but Draco Malfoy. I don't know why they gave him the brightest box, but anyway, that's what he's got. So this was another one that was introduced in Chamber of Secrets that carried over into the rest of the franchise. And so um, pretty simple. Most of the very early, uh, the, the Sorcerer's Stone or Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets ones were pretty simple. So most of the ones that were carried over from there um, have this kind of more simplistic design. Um, but I like it because it's a, kind of that more classic look, kind of a good grip right there with the two rings. So one too. We have Sirius Black's wand. Another very popular one, very popular sold at Wizarding World and very popular with uh, the Noble Collection wands. And so this wand is uh, the, my original one, so I got it in, in the box when it was, when the boxes were still coming out like this. Um, but it's also part of the Marauders wand set, which I'm going to be showing later in the video. Um, so lots of swirlies. Lots of swirlies going on there. And then this very cool runic design, which I have a couple of friends who have this as a tattoo, so I think that's awesome. Um, like the tattoo like going up their arm, I think that's a great great idea. I actually don't have any wand tattoos. Um, Haley has a wand tattoo on her foot, but I don't have any, which I don't have any tattoos. Uh, let's see, speaking of Haley, uh, this is the first wand she ever got me. So this is gonna be Narcissa's wand. Uh, she got this for me when we were just starting dating and she got it for me for Christmas, so isn't she thoughtful? Uh, but this is Narcissa's wand, very pokey, very pokey handle, very uncomfortable to hold, um, but still very rich and fancy looking. Um, just pretty basic black and then uh, very pokey handle, very uncomfortable. And so Draco uses this in uh, Deathly Hallows Part Two, but I think doesn't it also get lost in the Fiend Fire? So this one is toast as well. But yeah, but yeah, that's the first one that Haley ever got me. So that one's extra special. 
And then last in that I have in the Ollivander's wand boxes, there were others sold in the Ollivander's wand boxes. Um, I just saw a Cho Chang that was um, available on eBay today for like $200 and maybe one day, but right now I've already got Cho's, <laughs> so I'm good. Um, but I've just done a video about this one. This is gonna be the Mad Eye Moody wand, the Goblet of Fire design, the only one in the films that we actually see. So very short, very squat and stubby, very jabby, uh, but this is, I was very happy to get my hands on this one because this one is not available anymore. This design is not sold at all, either in the ribbon box or in the slip boxes that I'm about to be showing. Uh, so you can check out my other video where I'm showing off this and talking about all the different moody designs. So that's all the ones I have in the Ollivander's ribbon box. They've reintroduced the ribbon box with the Fantastic Beasts and Crimes of Grindelwald ones, but we're gonna be getting to those in a little bit. I've got my, my pile right there that's overflowing. So now we're gonna be moving on to the slip boxes. And so the slip boxes are the ones that look like these. These are the ones that are sold more commonly now from the Noble Collection. So I call it a slip box because it's got this slip case on it. Um, so just a cardboard, uh, all of them have this. It's just a standard black. Um, I don't think it has any kind of identifying. This one does. This one's got a sticker on it. Um, so you can see that this is Bill Weasley, maybe. And uh, and then it's the actual box itself from the Noble Collection has the um, the character's name there in a, in a shiny sticker, a recreation of the famous wand. And then on the inside, it's going to have, instead of the, um, like the velvet and satin ribbon, this one usually has a protective styrofoam layer there to protect it from the top, a shrink-wrapped plastic mold that's gonna fit that wand individually. And then the Noble Collection wands also come with these little clamps. And so these are meant to go with the Noble Collection wand displays that they sell. So you can clamp this on to um, the little, the, uh, the bar that's part of that. So you can identify each wand. Um, since I make my own displays, I haven't actually purchased any of the Noble Collection ones. So none of these have seen any use, but um, they're pretty, they're pretty nice, and if you want to purchase the Noble Collections displays or maybe you want to incorporate those into your own, then um, that's definitely something you can do. But uh, I don't use any of them, so they just hang out in their slip boxes. And so now we're going to get up to all the ones that I have from the slip boxes. So let's just start with my, you can't see my pile, but it's, it's a really big pile. I love seeing them all together right now. Ah, oh, there's so many. All right, so let's start with just the one that's on the left. So that's going to be Cho Chang. Uh, so Cho Chang's wand is very nice. Um, this is one that used to be sold in the ribbon boxes, but isn't sold anymore. And so this one is um, just sold in the slip boxes now, but lots of different design going on there. Um, and this, her, um, her kind of shaft design here is uh, used a lot with the Universal Park ones, which we're going to be getting to later on in the video. So you, you might see that design before if you've gone to the parks, but uh, the handle is also very comfortable because it's got those swirlies on the end. So that's Cho's wand. I guess we'll keep with the theme of students. So next is gonna be Seamus Finnegan's wand. Seamus' is quite small. It has a teeny little handle um, with the swirly design there and um, quite small. This kind of make, looks like marble. Um, makes me think of like an Egyptian tomb or something like the, like the mummy ride at Universal Studios um, with a kind of a knobby little end there. So um, that's Seamus's. And then we can do Seamus's best friend, Dean Thomas. And so Dean Thomas, I like his wand a lot. It's got that really cool twisted root design. Um, very interesting kind of knob at the top. And it looks like it's like, a, like an octopus or something just kind of like grabbed onto a wand and, and stuck on. Um, so I like his a lot. So that's Dean Thomas's. So this one is technically Haley's, uh, but you know, we all share this, we all share, but this is Luna Lovegood's tulip wand. And so her tulip wand is very common now. Um, so we don't actually ever see this in, in any of the Harry Potter movies. Um, so this is the wand that Ollivander makes for her after they're rescued from Malfoy Manor. He makes her a new wand so that she can fight in the Battle of Hogwarts. We never, we never see her use this wand ever. Um, but this is the one that's sold individually. We're gonna get to the um, Dumbledore's Army wand set where you can see her original wand. But this is the one that's, um, you know, never seen, but it's labeled as Luna's. It's kind of like Mad-Eye Moody's, where like, why does why are there so many designs that are never seen? But uh, now I'm glad that we do get to see these because they're out in the open. So also very fragile. We've had to repair this one several times. So if you purchase this one, um, please do be careful because or keep super glue on hand because you're gonna need it if you drop it. 
Next, we have Parvati Partils, another great one. I got this one in uh, Universal Studios, which I, I don't usually recommend. Um, the Universal Park, uh, the character ones there are actually um, upcharged from what you can get from the Noble Collection, so it's more expensive to buy just character ones from Universal than it is to buy them directly from the thenoblecollection.com. Even with shipping, it's still cheaper. Um, so, but still, you know, you're in the park, you wanna buy a wand, go for it. So uh, it's got that really cool dragon wing going on there kind of wrapped around very unique and fun design and, and really fun to hold to you can kind of wrap your fingers around those points and so looking over all of this um, I'm realizing that this video is probably gonna be a lot longer than I thought it was gonna be it is a hundred ones after all so what I think I'm gonna do is break this up into probably four different videos so I think I'm gonna cut it off here uh, so we'll see you next time keep the magic alive and we'll see you later